Um, but then beyond that, there's also an, this kind of almost surreal dimension that's becoming uh, normal to us, which is the, uh, the, the, the fact that the space that, we're become, that, that, that we inhabit is uh, not only being kind of invaded by market forces of, of a kind of an overt nature, like the, the possibility to uh, sublet and to, to rent out, but that actually the devices that um, inhabit this, that, that we use on a daily basin, basis are becoming sentient. They're actually able to become aware of what's going on around them and to send that, to collect that information and to send it somewhere. And so the, the home, uh, where, uh, this is again the kind of one of these things that kind of became, uh, on the, having conducted all of the research previously in the first two chapters, the first two parts of the book, suddenly became a lot clearer is how even beyond, there's, there's a new frontier that's being uh, broached, even beyond the kind of, um, uh, how can I say, um, almost uh, uh, post-capitalist, um, a, a kind of a new post-capitalist chapter in which even the, uh, this, this extreme financialization of every square meter, uh, even the activities that take place in the home are becoming a, a source of value, a, 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 a form of um, something that can be exploited because, of course, there's this um, uh, expression, um, data is the new oil in, the t in technology circles, that um, the most lucrative industry is actually uh, looking at data, extracting meaning from very large batches of data. And so if that's the case, if, um, if data is uh, the new oil and we can mine it, then, uh, of course, the home is a new Texas, so to speak. It's a new, um, uh, it's, a, it's a source, almost inexhaustible source of incredibly valuable, incredibly personal, incredibly detailed data about who we are and what we do. And so uh, this is how uh, kind of headlines like this, uh, where we kind of get to levels of surrealism where a, a fridge can be hacked and manipulated and become part of a botnet that's sending out spam. I mean, things that kind of, uh, I think even Bruce Sterling probably couldn't have uh, imagined, even if he tried. And then there are more slightly, um, it, it's this incredible instrument that Google provides um, called uh, Ngram Viewer. Uh, Google, as you know, is the um, author of the Google Books project that um, basically scanned and uh, did text recognition on pretty much every book in history, especially old books which no longer have any form of copyright. Um, and so they, uh, and, the, and with the Ngram Viewer, you can input any term you like. Uh, so for example, in this case, we input um, home and house. Um, and we looked at the kind of historical trajectory of one in relation to the, uh, in relation to the other. Um, and, it's, uh, and this is something that we actually have no explanation for, but um, the, ra the rather counterintuitive rise of home um, over time until more or less around the year 2000 when uh, it, it overtook house or just before 2000. Um, and yeah, I mean, it, it would be actually very interesting if any of you have any theories of why the, these two terms, these kind of literary terms, uh, the description actually, I'd love to hear what Gianluigi's theory is. I, I, I have my own theory, but we can discuss that later. Um, the, uh, and so the, the kind of the final moment of this research was to actually take a very kind of dispassionate look at how we inhabit our home. So if, if all of this is true, if, if the kind of spaces we inhabit are being radically transformed by economic pressures, by um, a new culture of m mobility, by a new relationship to the kind of furniture that we have, where can we, where better to find evidence of this and to actually examine it than by looking at um, the, looking on the web, looking at the way that people very kind of uh, openly document their everyday lives on um, social media. Uh, and so the final part of the book is um, this, uh, this is, a chat, is a photo essay actually that's entirely taken from um, social media, primarily Facebook and uh, uh, Instagram, Twitter, um, Flickr, together with the comments um, underneath it. Uh, and so, this, and, and so this, that also is, it was incredibly interesting in revealing also new typo domestic typologies, like the rise of the man cave, uh, which is a sort of space of autonomy of the real man, who um, is uh, where he keeps his gizmos and his gadgets and his guns. Or um, new forms of uh, uh, repurposing of the home, the new activities that are taking place in unexpected locations or a new relationship with furniture. 
um, in which uh, one is actually a kind of a mix of pride and repulsion for the spaces, for the objects that populate our spaces. New social mores, new, new customs, uh, new forms of celebrating intimacy, um, new ways of relating to one another. On Valentine's Day, for example, a new, uh, uh, new ceremonies that would have been unthinkable previously, such as um, a Valentine's Day in front of the fire with one's partner, in which there is no fire and there is no partner. You're looking at two screens. <laughs> and finally, this, um, the, the idea of the home as something which is increasingly, historically, over time, becoming more and more connected, something that's kind of gradually, uh, almost like a, a, a port in which increasing number of connections, a node in a network in which an increasing number of connections, both inbound and outbound, uh, are entering. Um, so the, the flush toilet is the first possible network um, manifestation of the home as part of a network because it's, uh, it's actually producing something and expelling it, which contrary, um, contrary to what um, the British believe, um, having been, become kind of the f first widespread use in Victorian Britain, um, it was actually a conquest in 2500 BC in um, Pakistan. Uh, but this idea of the toilet as the first uh, time the home is actu actually becomes part of a network because it's flushing something out. There's a collective sewage system through to gas lighting, which is uh, it, it, homes are connected through a, a, a gas network, but actually there the gas is being brought in.